In this video, we're going to show you how to add some really cool effects to your videos just like this. Hello everyone, we are Chris and Christina. Welcome back to the Filmstock YouTube channel. We are here to help you make better videos and empower your inner video creator. With the new Immortal Effects Pack from Filmstock, you can add all these cartoon slash anime style effects to your videos in many different ways. So let's not waste any more time and we'll show you how you can use those effects. But first off, make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any future tips and tutorial videos like this one. Okay, let's jump into Filmora 11. You can find the Immortal Effects Pack from the Filmstock website. And when you download that, you'll be able to find it in your Filmora 11 video editor. So the only things contained in this pack are elements and you will find all of them in the elements section right here. So you can see that there are many types of cartoon slash anime effects that you can add to your own clips. So let's have a look at how we can use these to make our video clips look really cool and unique. I find that these effects work really well with videos about sport, anime, gaming, or even clips with some sort of magical element. So I have used clips like that for these examples. This gold effect kind of reminded me of a sword swipe, so I thought it would work perfectly with a clip like this. So all I did here was add the effects that I wanted to the timeline above the clip. I resized them to a size that fitted the clip and I placed them in a position that worked well for the impact. So every time the girl makes a swiping movement with the sword, I lined up the element with the movement to make this really cool effect. And a little tip here, don't forget that you can flip or rotate the elements if they don't line up perfectly for you. I had a very similar idea with this next example. I added the elements I thought worked best for the clip. I lined up the effects with the movement of the girl's kicks and punches. And this allows you to really feel the impact. Sometimes you may have to adjust the speed of the element if you want it to happen faster in the clip. And this is something that I had to do with these elements in this clip because the movement is so fast. But once you put it all together, I think it looks really cool when you have many elements happening at a fast pace. So we found that elements like these work very well when you use motion tracking. So motion tracking is a very useful tool in Filmora 11. It allows you to track the motion of an object or an element. So let's jump back in and we'll show you how to combine these elements with motion tracking. So all you have to do is add the element to your timeline above your clip, reposition it to the size and position you want. Then we're going to click on the video clip and click motion tracking in the settings. You do want to make sure that you are at the start of the clip and whatever you are tracking the motion of can be seen in the clip the entire time. Once you click the motion tracking setting, you will see this box appear. Drag that box over whatever it is you will be tracking. So for this clip, it will be the movement of this necklace. Once you have placed the box, then hit start tracking. This will then take a few seconds and Filmora will track the movement of your object. Once that is complete, you can combine this motion tracking with the element. Just find the correct element in this drop down menu and click OK. Then the element will follow the movement and it's just as easy as that. OK, so those are just a few ways that you can use these effects in your videos. But as always, feel free to get as creative as you want with it. Any links that you need for Filmora 11 or for the Filmstock pack will be in the description below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, keep creating, and we will see you in the next one.